Let's call the math lady. Today's lesson is all about subtracting mixed numbers with regrouping part two. Well, why part two? Well, up until now, we've been using regrouping, but we've done it when we've had the same denominator. Here, you can see our first example, we have different denominators. So we're gonna take care of that as part of our regrouping. Let's take a look. So I have five and a fourth minus two and two thirds. I like to write it vertically because it's easier for me to see. So let me do that. And we're subtracting. Now we see we do not have the same denominator, so we need to find a common one. 12 is going to be the common denominator. So let's convert. 4 times 3 is 12. 1 times 3 is 3. 3 times 4 is 12. 2 times 4 is 8. Okay, at this point we would naturally subtract our fractions, but you can see we have a problem. 3 twelfths minus 8 twelfths. Hmm. So we need to regroup. We're going to go back over here to our 5. I'm actually going to use red. We're going to cross out our 5 and we're going to take 1 and bring it over to the fraction side. But since the denominator we're working with is 12, we're going to bring that 1 over as 12 twelfths. Okay, I'm going to add it right here. 12 twelfths, and I'm, I'm not rewriting the 12th part, I'm just putting my 12 there because I'm going to add it to my 3 that is already existing. So I'm going to cross this out and we have 15 twelfths. Now we can do our subtraction. 15 twelfths minus 8 twelfths. 15 minus 8 is 7 over 12. And don't forget about those mix, uh, the, the whole number part of the mixed number. We've got 4 minus 2 is 2. So 2 and 7 twelfths is our answer. Let's check out this problem. So we have a subtraction. I'm going to rewrite it because it makes my life easier to rewrite it vertically. Okay, now we can see we do not have a common denominator, so we need to give it one. 5 and 3, the common denominator, the least common multiple is 15. So let's use 15 for both of them. And we're going to convert just the fraction piece. 5 times 3 is 15. 2 times 3 is 6. 3 times 5 is 15. 2 times 5 is 10. And we can see we've got an issue. 6 15ths minus 10 15ths. We're going to have to regroup. So we're going to take this 7, change it over to a 6. And we're going to bring over 15 15ths. So I'm going to write my little 15 here. But I already have 6 that is here, so I'm going to add my 15 to my 6, and that's going to be 21. Now I can do my subtraction. 21 minus 10 is 11 fifteenths. And 6 minus 2 is 4. My answer, 4 and 11 fifteenths. Here's your final example. 10 and 1 sevenths minus 2 and 3 fourths. Let's do it. I'm going to rewrite it vertically because it makes my life easier. And we do not have a common denominator, so let's find one. 7 and 4, we're going to use 28 for both of them. 7 times 4 is 28. 1 times 4 is 4. 4 times 7 is 28. 3 times 7 is 21. You can see we have an issue with subtracting, so we're going to regroup. This 10 goes to a 9. We're going to bring over 28 28s. And I'm going to add it to my 4 that's already there, and that's going to be 32 28s. Now we can subtract. 32 minus 21 is 11 28s. Now let's take care of the whole numbers. 9 minus 2 is 7. Okay, 7 and 11 28 is our answer. And it's really that simple. Go ahead and just do exactly what you've been doing all along. Make sure you find common denominators and regroup if it's necessary. Okay, that's it for me today. Nicole the Math Lady. We'll talk soon. Bye-bye.